Right, what's up guys, you Yusuf from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to your first look of AMD's third generation of Ryzen CPUs. So here we have the two APUs, the budget APUs, the Ryzen 3 3200G and the Ryzen 5 3400G. And in this video we can also talk about the AORS X570 Master. So this is an X570 motherboard and I know X570 motherboards are already out in the market. But again, I'm allowed to talk now. And the launch event is over, so by the time you're watching this video, the you know, launch event is over. Actually, I'm shooting this a few days before, so again, yeah, that's that. And in this video, I'll be unboxing it, you know, I'm not allowed to, again, share benchmarks yet, so I'll be doing that in the, you know, coming days. But in this video, let's talk about why these CPUs are not so interesting compared to the other CPUs in the Ryzen 3rd generation. So, you know, the normal SKUs, the 3600, the 3600X, or the Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, those CPUs are more interesting. And in this video, let's show out why. And first up, let's get to the unboxing. So nothing really you know, interesting in unboxing CPUs, but here we have the Ryzen 3 3200G opening up the box. The box for the Ryzen 3 3200G is smaller in my opinion. And I don't know why. Last year it was quite big. And here we have it. This is the Ryzen 3 3200G. And yeah, I don't know what's very interesting about processor unboxings. But they have you know special embargoes for that and next you have the wraith stealth cooler that comes with the ryzen 3 3200g so the ryzen 5 comes with the wraith spire cooler and the ryzen 3 comes with the you know wraith stealth so again you have your you know, quick start guide and stuff like that so information about the cpu and some other documentation again not really interesting this box is empty let's take a look at the cooler itself and the design has changed that's what i've heard let's let's see and here we have it the wraith stealth cooler from amd and it has the thermal paste on the back i will be installing this you know cpu in a pc and actually testing it out but yeah here's your first look at the amd ryzen 3 3200g let's let's keep the cooler and you know documentation to the side now and let's bring out the ryzen 5 3400g this is a normal size you know box and again same contents first thing in the box is going to be your documentation so again boring stuff and here it is your ryzen 5 3400g so these are your two cpus both look very similar. We'll talk about the specifications in just a minute. The specs are already out, you know, since the announcement. But here we have the Raid Spire Cooler. Now, basically everyone knows how the Raid Spire Cooler looks, but again, just for the sake of this video, let's unbox this as well. And yeah. So you have the Raid Spire Cooler now, and this comes with the Ryzen 5 3400G. This is gonna be, you know, a little better at cooling stuff. So that was your look at the Raid Spire Cooler. So now talking about the CPUs itself, with the unboxing out of the way, the Ryzen 3 3200G is a four core, four thread processor with a 3.6 gigahertz base and four gigahertz max. This also has the Vega 8 graphics. So again, eight compute units at 1250 megahertz, which is overclockable. The processor also is unlocked. And both these CPUs are, you know, based on the 12 nanometer FinFET technology. So the die itself is smaller, but they're still based on the Zen Plus architecture. So they're still the old APUs with, a, you know, slight spec bump in the, you know, clock speed. And that's about it. The die has shrunken. So that means you should have, you know, lesser TDPs, but the TDPs haven't decreased. And you should also have some more performance. That we will definitely test out. But again, they're not as interesting as the other Zen 2 processors, which are actually, you know, a new architecture and are based on 7 nanometer, whereas these are on 12 nanometer. So, again, yeah, these are kind of boring, but they're still a part of the Ryzen, you know, third generation. And AMD still has to recover their cost somewhere. So these are the processors where they do, because these are, you know, the major selling, you know, part of the CPU. So Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, APUs, people who don't want to, you know, spend a lot of money, buy graphics cards and stuff like that, they just go for this. And this is able to do their, you know, 1080p esports gaming and just office day-to-day -day work or just, 
you know, playing video games at decent settings, maybe watching movies, watching videos on YouTube and things like that, this kind of CPU is you know, definitely sufficient or more than sufficient, I would say. Talking about the Ryzen 5 3400G, this is gonna be a four core eight thread CPU. So the CPU itself on this one is really good. It's very powerful. And you also have the, you know, Vega 11 graphics. So 11 compute units at 1400 megahertz, again, unlocked 65 watt TDP on both these, you know, CPUs. And they also have the, you know, Precision Boost 2 and XFR and all those things. They're still there. And as I said, both of them are, you know, based on the Zen Plus architecture and the, you know, 12 nanometer FinFET technology. So, here they are, these are the Ryzen 3 3200G and the Ryzen 5 3400G. Here's your first look at, you know, the CPUs itself. So now that we are done with the unboxing of the CPUs and, you know, the specs out of the way, let's talk about the X570 chipset from AMD. Now I've got what is going to be the pinnacle of X570 motherboard. So this is going to be the most expensive and most feature packed motherboard or one of the most feature packed motherboards. So there's going to be some from MSI and Asus as well, but this is from AORUS. So the AORUS Gaming X570 Master. This is going to be the top end of their series. And this has basically everything you could ask for in, uh, you know, 2019 motherboard. And, you know, talking about some of its features, you have NVIDIA SLI, AMD Crossfire, three PCIe 4.0 or 3.0 SSD slots. So you can have super fast M.2 storage, you know, not one, not two, but three drives. You also have Bluetooth 5.0 and Intel's Wi-Fi 6 technology. So 802.11 AX Wi-Fi. You have USB Type-C, USB 3.2. You also have ECC or non-ECC memory. So, you know, dual channel, four DIMMs. You can go up to 64 gigabytes or how much ever you want to. And you also have RGB Fusion 2.0. So those were just, you know, some of the features that you'll be getting with this motherboard. And I'll be definitely using this motherboard to you know, benchmark these CPUs and you know, get you some results. For now, I'm not including any benchmarks, but yeah, future videos will definitely include them. And this is gonna be quite expensive. So yeah, if you want this, you need to be sure that you'll be able to use this motherboard or if you actually need this motherboard, I wouldn't recommend an X570 with any of the APUs or any of the Ryzen 5s. So here we have a B450 Steel Legend motherboard and any motherboard that you see that says, you know, AMD 3000 ready, so Ryzen 3000 ready, those motherboard will work out of the box without any BIOS update with Ryzen 3000. So these APUs, if I pop them in, in the B450 Steel Legend, they're gonna work. And this is what I actually recommend for, you know, something like this, the APUs or anything in the Ryzen 5 series, because you don't have to go to the, you know, extreme for the Ryzen 5. That's gonna be a total waste of money. So you can definitely go with the 550 when they come out or 540 when they come out. But for now, if you have a motherboard like this, you can definitely upgrade. And this is what I recommend, going with a cheaper motherboard and maybe, you know, using the capabilities on this one and saving some money. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'll definitely, you know, unbox this motherboard in a later video because there's nothing really interesting in an unboxing of a motherboard. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, let me know if you actually like the first look of the AMD Ryzen third generation. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the you know, Ryzen 3 3200G or the 3400G or the new X570 chipset? Are you guys going to upgrade? Which processor, which motherboard, what kind of graphics? You know, all that, let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future Ryzen 3rd generation coverage. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.